I'm a kitty, 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 I'm a kitty. Hey everyone, Foxy here, and thanks for joining me on this lovely day. And so the weather is always perfect, and today we're playing Cattails. Now, Cattails is a game about being a cat. So it is a unique simulation RPG game with some survival elements. You get to play as this feral cat in an open forest. Apparently you can uh, fight, you can hunt, you can make friends. There's even a chance to make a family, you have nine eligible mates, and then you get to train the babies and go on more adventures. But yeah, I'm actually really excited to play this game. It was originally a Kickstarter game. Uh, it first started out in 2016 as just a hobby, then 2017 it became a Kickstarter, and now as of December 1st, it is now available in Steam for anybody to purchase and play. I'm actually pretty excited. <laughs> I actually remember seeing it on Kickstarter, but it wasn't a game I chose to kickstart. And now I kind of wish that I had kickstarted it. Ah, that's okay. I'm just really happy that it ended up becoming a game. And now we get to play it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's be a kitty cat. I want to be the kitty. Please select a difficulty level. Note, you can always change this later at any time from the settings menu. Well, I prefer to do normal. Oh, we get to... Well, this will be weird, but I guess... I am a cat called Foxy. Foxy the cat. What does a Foxy the cat look like? I would say it's tan. We got the blue eyes. Maybe a lighter blue. No, this blue. Hmm, I wonder if there's more uh, customization later. I hope so. Alright, let's be Foxy the kitty. We're a cat with a fox spirit. Oh! Is it like a petting zoo? With kitties? Oh, take me home. Love me, feed me. <gasps> Yay! I got picked. Me. I was picked. I had a loving home and a family and food. And we get to play. Wait. Oh. She wasn't supposed to have the cat, was she? <gasps> what a horrible parent! Oh, why would you dump an animal? You're a horrible human being! Don't do that. My heart. But I was loved. I was loved. Hey, what are you doing out here? Hmm? Hey, it's a kitty. You don't look like you're from around here. Hmm, Coco. Do we trust Coco? I think we do. Coco seems helpful. I'm Coco, by the way. Why don't you come over here and tell me your name? You can move your cat with... The was the keys on the keyboard. Try it out and go talk to Coco. Ooh, I'm a kitty, 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 I'm a kitty. And eat a talk. Hmm. You say your name is Foxy? That's a good name for you, if you don't mind me saying. You say you were left here all by yourself? Dropped off on the side of the road? How terrible! Well, if that's your story, we've got a lot of learning ahead of you. You'll have to fend for yourself out here in the wild. If you don't know how to forage, hunt, and fight, you can't expect to live more than a few days. You better listen closely to everything I say. Alright, Master Coco, teach me how to be a wild kitty. I can show you how to survive around these parts. First things first, you'll need to know how to forage. 
There should be some golden seal around here. It's a green leafy plant with a bright red berry. We used it to patch up wounds. Why don't you find some golden seal and bring it to me? Shouldn't be too hard to locate. Let me know if you need some help. Go and gather. Hmm. Is it this? New. This. New. It's this. Yay! Bring Golden Seal back to Coco. I got it. Here you go. Great work! You'll be foraging like a pro soon enough. You. You, go ahead and keep the Golden Seal. By the way, never know when it may come in handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. There's lots of plants that grow around in the wild. Golden seal, lavender, catnip, and marigold, to name a few. They all have their unique uses, so make sure you gather them up and try them out if you see them. Just remember that all plants need time to grow back after they've been harvested, and some plants will only grow in certain seasons. You're also going to need to know how to find food for yourself. You'll need to eat regularly to stay healthy and alive. You can eat some plants like berries and licorice root, but they don't fill you up very fast. You'll mainly want to eat prey that you can catch with your own four paws. That's the good stuff. I don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? I'll show you the way. Why don't you sneak around and find a mouse? They'll make for tasty snacks. First, sneak around so they won't hear you coming. Then, find a mouse and get close so you can focus on it. You want to get as close as possible without scaring him off. The closer you get, the better chance you have of catching the mouse. Don't worry. Mice aren't very good at spotting us cats. So you can get pretty close. Then, pounce on the mouse. Once you've focused and ready, if you did it just right, you'll find a nice meal waiting for you in the grass. Don't worry if you miss on your first few tries. Hunting is tricky, and you won't always catch your prey. Just keep moving and try again. You got all that? If you need to hear it again, just talk to me, and I'll repeat myself for you. Good luck, and happy hunting! Oh, I like Coco. So, let's see. Shift to sneak. We gotta locate him out. <gasps> oh! Right there. Get close and wait for the bubble to fill up. Alright. It's filled up and space. <gasps> I got myself a mouse! Coco, you'll be proud. My mentor. I brought the noms. Nicely done! You're a natural hunter, Foxy. But you need a whole lot more than just one measly mouse to keep yourself well fed and in top shape. Don't let it get to your head. You can find all sorts of prey to hunt all throughout the wilderness. Most will see you coming from a lot farther away than a mouse will. So you'll have to stay alert and keep learning. You can always get better at hunting by spending experience on your passive hunting skills in your skill panel. All this hard work is probably making you hungry. Why don't you try eating that mouse you just caught? You'll need to eat in order to survive in cattails. You can see how hungry your cat is in the bottom left corner of the screen. If your hunger is reduced to 0%, you'll start taking damage from starvation. It looks like you're a little hungry right now. Go ahead and eat the mouse you just caught by opening your inventory, selecting the mouse, and then selecting eat from the list of options. Mmm, gimme, 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 gimme. Let's see, what, what's the first item? So, the golden seal and then the mouse. I would like to eat. Make sure you keep an eye on how hungry you are, Foxy. It would be the difference between life and death. Now then, do you have any special skills? Any sort of training that cats of your upbringing go through? No, none at all. Well, that's not surprising. I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. You can use it to gain a quick burst of speed. 
you can use sprint to cover ground quickly, to run away from a fight that's too big for you, or to catch up with prey that's escaping. You've learned the sprint skill. It has been added to your active skill bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can use it by either clicking the sprint icon in your active skill bar or by pressing one on your keyboard. Try it out. Yay. Ah, so you have an active limit of how long you can use it. Yes, that's just how it's done. You can use Sprint every now and then, but after you use it, you'll have to wait a few seconds before using it again. Every active skill you learn will work in a similar way. Normally, you'll have to gain experience to learn new skills, and you can only equip a few skills while inside your den. You'll gain experience by hunting, fighting, foraging, and even by sleeping. Hmm? I can gain experience by sleeping. We will be the sleepiest, laziest cats, and we will grow an experience. Got it. There's lots of skills available, such as combat skills, travel skills, support skills, and more. You can have any four active skills at a time, so you'll want to experiment with different combos to find what works best for you. You can also use experience to upgrade your passive skills, which are hunting, fighting, foraging, and swimming. You can manage your skills in the skill panel. Remember, passive skills can be upgraded from anywhere at any time, but active skills can only be equipped or unequipped in your den. You can also spend experience to upgrade active skills that you really like. Usually, that means you'll become more powerful and you'll be able to use them more frequently. You should also know something else about the wilderness. The cats that live here don't like intruders very much. Any cat found trespassing on another cat's territory can be attacked on sight. It's our own way of life. That's why you need to know how to fight. Most cats join a colony that provides guards and a base of operation for protection. Often, those colonies clash. Border skirmishes or even all-out wars are not uncommon. I need you to know what I'm working with here how about the two of us spar real quick? Fair warning, I won't go easy on you just because you're new. Come over here and let me know when you're ready. Uh, you're gonna fight with me? I don't even know how to fight. You ready to spar with me? Yes, let's spar. Alright, a few pointers before we begin. Cats fight by pawing at each other with their claws. It takes some time to complete an attack, and during that time, you won't be able to react to my attacks. So time your attacks just right. You want to make use of your ability to escape my attacks, anticipate my swipes, and get out of the way before they hit. Remember, I'll be vulnerable while attacking, because I won't be able to turn around or move. Same goes for you. Ready? Three, two... One, go, attack. Wait, you didn't tell me how to attack. Ah, it's space, got it. Ah. Oh, he's strong. Oh, I missed. Wait, where are you going? Why are you running away? What, am I too strong for you now, Coco? Ah, you tricked me. You hid behind the tree so I couldn't see you. Hmm, I want him to attack first. Ah. Oh, I'm not good at this. Ugh. You put up a good fight, Foxy. You've got a lot to learn, but you're not bad for a beginner. Why, thank you, Coco. You can always become better at fighting by spending experience on your passive fighting skill in your skill panel. Fighting can be an excellent way to flex your political muscle, too. Every day, a few battles will begin along the borders of the colonies. If you participate, you could help a colony gain influence over an area. Speaking of the colonies, surely you want to join one. It's a great way to get started in the wild. I know all of the three major colonies here have a spare den to give to you, if you'd like it. We're actually not far from the forest colony right now. I can lead you there. 
and help you get settled in. I'm sure their leader, Mayor, wouldn't mind having a new face around town. They're good cats in the forest colony, and you'll fit right in. How does that sound? Oh, that's tempting. But, although it's close, I'm curious as to what are the other options before I just go with this one. Well, like I said, there are three major colonies that live out here. I'll tell you about all of them, then you can make your choice. There's the forest colony, which I mentioned earlier. They're good, friendly cats that live in a bramble patch deep in the oak woods just in the north. They're definitely the closest colony to here. I'm sure their leader, Mayor, would be happy to take you in. There's also the Mountain Domain, a proud collection of cats dwelling near a waterfall on a rocky basin. They're way up north. They're led by a fighter named Leo that Cat is always looking for. More paws to bolster the number of, of border skirmishes in the domain. And lately, there's the Mystic Colony, strange cats that live in hollow logs deep within an old wetland. You may find their leader a bit hard to connect with at first, but, but Alyssa's a good cat at heart. They all are, even the wacky ones. So, what do you think? Uh, he really recommends the forest colony, but I feel like I would relate most with the mountain domain. Uh, just simply because I personally live in the mountains. But I am just a cat. I'm just a cat. And that seems to be one of my previous lives. I don't have a huge interest in the Mystic Colony, so we'll cross them off. Hmm, so forest or mountain domain? I can't help but wonder if it's going to be harder. Ooh, and we'll have to make the journey there. He was trying to say it would be easier to get to the forest colony. But we also might get more fights if we go to the mountain domain, and I'm not very good at fighting. Well, these cats are friendly. Just because I haven't actually lived out on my own, I should probably go with his recommendation of the forest colony. Maybe later on you're able to switch colonies if wanted. I'm not sure though. So I'm gonna go with his recommendation of the forest colony. Great, I'll lead you to the forest colony then. Follow me, Foxy. Foxy's den, I have a home. Here we are. This is your new den, Foxy. You'll want to visit your den often. Here, you can sleep and save your progress. You can also use this space to store your items if you like. Remember to save your progress frequently as you play by using your bed. It's a good idea to save before sleeping each night. This is where we'll have to part ways, Foxy. I hope you remember your training well. It was good to meet you. We may see each other again soon. You've had a busy day. Why don't you get some sleep? Oh, you're glowing! Oh! Cats teleport! What magical game is this? Oh, is this my bed? What would you like to do? Go to sleep or save game? Save, of course. Game saved. Oh, that was quick! We saved the game. We've now joined the forest colony. And we met Coco. Coco was an amazing mentor. I almost wish I had chosen the mountains. Just because it feels more homely. Because I thought for a moment we were going to have to, like, actually physically travel there. And then possibly die. Because maybe it was a harder route. But maybe I'm right and you really can uh, switch clans later. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I'm hoping you guys are kind of interested in this game, but we will see. I actually like it so far. I do want to continue to play this. So, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me on this lovely day. If you're new to my channel, please not the subscribe, boop the like, and join the Fox Squad. And if you're already a subscriber, you know what to do. You boop the like button. You boops it. So, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Bye!